An exciting future is emerging, and it's all to do with one fast-changing technology, 3D printing. First used primarily for prototypes and models, the technology has come a long way since its humble beginnings. And with plunging costs and a growing array of printable materials, 3D printing is slowly but surely changing one aspect of our lives, clothes. Scan it, print it, wear it. The future of fashion looks set to be 3D. At least that's the end goal for recently launched collaboration 3D Fashion. The 18-month project run by Loughborough University in the UK and garment company Yair Group aims to revolutionise how clothes are made. And all in a bid to reduce waste and labour costs. Ultimately, they want to create a 3D printing process that can be commercialised and used to manufacture customised clothing. And head of the project, Dr Guy Bingham, believes this process could change fashion eternally. But ultimately, you could actually see this technology ending up on a high street. So you can imagine a retail experience where you could go into a store, you could get 3D body scanned, you could select the design that you wanted, that could be modified in a, in, a, in a 3D virtual environment, and that could be printed out in front of you. But the concept isn't an entirely new one. Over the years, many companies have toyed with the idea of making clothing printable. Dutch 3D printer company Ultimaker, for example, were the creators of the world's first 3D printed dress. On top of that, they have since put together a collection of patterns to download for free, making the process a lot more attainable to the general public. Teaming up with XYZ Workshop, they have created a full fashion suite, including a 3D printed wallet, a 3D printed watch band, and an entire couture dress. And according to co-founder Carl Wei Lim, 3D fashion for the masses really isn't that far away. I reckon within um, perhaps the next um, two, three years, um, we, we could start seeing more mass-produced um, 3D printed fashion um, in, in our stores. Or, you know, it could be available in the form of like a, a, a iTunes or something. Following shortly behind in 3D production, the kinematic stress was created by design studio Nervous System in 2014. And this 3D printed dress set out to push the boundaries of what was possible in computational fashion. By weaving together thousands of interlocking components, the dress was printed out in one single folded piece. A piece which required no assembly at all. But one woman made it her mission to create a wardrobe full of outfits, and that woman is Danit Peleg. During her fashion design degree at Schenker College in Israel, Danit embarked on a 3D printing journey at home. Although she has since admitted it was definitely not cheap or easy. Dennett needed a total of 2,000 hours and a lengthy row of 3D printers in order to complete her mission, but the hard work paid off. Her five-piece collection has since taken to the runway and received many positive reviews. Thus proving a powerful 3D printer, or five, and an innovative mind can change everything. And while many creators are working towards making the full garments, there's one company dedicated to providing the fabric. Electroloom, the world's first 3D fabric printer, enables people to design and manufacture clothes from scratch. And with over $80,000 raised on their Kickstarter campaign, the team's concept is finally turning into a reality. Eliminating the need for thread, needles, or sewing, the Electroloom developer kit means only simple skills are needed to design the patterns and the kit does the rest. So this is a 2D sheet that was printed on the machine. So you can see it behaves like fabric. It's much different than you know, a lot of stuff coming off 3D printers today. 
Although still in its infancy, the company hopes to one day reach the mass market. But the industry still remains in an interesting limbo, somewhere between high arts and mass-produced, ready-to-wear ensembles. This year's Met Gala focused on the museum's main exhibition, Manus Ex Machina. Meaning hand versus machine, the exhibit focuses entirely on how technology is transforming fashion. A notion creator Andrew Bolton believes should be discussed. Traditionally, the handmade has been seen as being about luxury, about superiority. It's also been seen as something that's elitist. Whereas the machine, it's been about progress and the future. And on the other side, it's been about mediocrity and dehumanization. I'm finding that those values don't really hold up. Sometimes a garment that's been machine made actually has more hours spent on it, is more luxurious than doing it by hand. And each ensemble on display visually explores the rising dedication to machine production over hand. Some designers have shown their dedication on a whole new level, though. Banaz Farahi has created an incredible wearable capable of not only detecting other people's gazes, but responding with lifelike behavior. Using multi-material 3D printing, the piece demonstrates how the very latest and most advanced technologies might contribute to the realm of fashion. For now, as far as the technology is concerned, it appears the world has only just scratched the surface. The industry at present is best described as an evolving medium.